Okay, so um, here we go. Nice algebra question, question number 11. We've got to expand and simplify this bracket. So, well, hopefully, let's treat each bracket separately. So if I do uh, 3 times x, gives me 3x. And then I have 3 times 4, gives me 12. If I then look at the other question, this says uh, 2 and it's plus 2. Well, we'll do the plus in a minute. So it's 2 times 5x is 10x. And 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. Now what it's asking us to do is to add these up. So expressions for each of the brackets. So you get 13x from here and 12 to add minus 2 is 13x from here, and then you get plus 10. So the 12 take away the 2. So your final answer is 13x plus 10. Okay, so this one's similar. It says expand and simplify, but this one's now got a double bracket. So instead of just uh, having two single bracket answers and adding them up, it's actually asking us to multiply everything in this first bracket by everything in the second bracket. Now, my tip for these questions, if you're not sure, is use a grid. Okay? So what do I mean by that? Just a straightforward, old school, old fashioned multiply grid. One of the brackets says 2x and plus 1, and the other bracket says x and minus 4. Now, the reason is that because we're gonna you can see in our grid we're gonna get four answers. And if you don't, sometimes you forget and you don't make all the connections. So here we get 2x squared. Here we get x times 1 is x. 2x times minus 4 is minus 8x. And minus 4 times 1 is minus 4. So what you'll notice is we've got four separate answers. But actually, these two answers we can squash together. So that gives us our final answer of... 2x squared minus 8x combined with x gives us minus 7x. We're not, we've already done the multiplication now, we're just combining them now. So we're going to add them together, we're combining them. It's minus 7x, and then we've just got a minus 4. So we get four answers, and these two collapse down to give us three terms an x squared term, an x term, and a number term. Okay? Uh, so the key point for that one was this bit here, where we collected, collect like terms. Okay. Now we're looking at factorize. Uh, factorize is kind of comes. There's two key points of factorizing really. Is first one is what it means. It means put in two. Brackets. The second one says um, you've got to use the highest common factor. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Well, the biggest number that goes in both of these three things, so for me, the highest common factor, biggest number that goes into 6 and 9 is 3, and the biggest letter term, so y squared and y, is a y. That goes into both. So that's the highest common factor is what's going to go on the outside of my bracket. So I'm going to, wow. I'm going to set up my bracket. You know, it's going to be a minus in. And my highest common factor goes on the outside. Now I need to think, what do I need to get in order to get 6y squared when I do this times? So 3 times 2 is going to get us there. And then y times what? So y times y is going to give me the y squared. So overall now I've got 6y squared. Now what do I need to do to get from 3 times it by up something to get 9? Well, that's got to be 3, hasn't it? Oh, the bell's just gone. And, well, that gives me... I've got x, y, and I've only got a y at the moment. So that means I've got to have an x in here. So the final answer is 3y, <coughs> excuse me, 2y minus 3x. 
I'm just choking on my cereal bar. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you're not sure, you can multiply this back out. So here we get 6y squared minus 9xy. And that's what we want. So we're done.